this call to order. Public comments, I have none. Number three, discussion regarding quality of life project project recommendations. Was that you? I guess that's yes. me. Yes. First thing. That's you. Only thing. That's the only thing on there. Oh. Check all day. You get the C on the end up there. No, actually, wasn't. <laughs> now he will. Now he will. Well, uh, oh, thank you. All right. Um, in front of you guys, you should have an abbreviated version of kind of the uh, history of um, the previous uh, sales tax um, that we took back in, uh, or took up for election back in uh, last November and then kind of what we've done up to currently. So I'm not going to go into a huge detail other than the fact that we started this process back uh, almost a year ago, last June, and deciding that we did need to go for a sales tax increase in order to take care of a few things for uh, the city. And what we learned from the, the failure uh, in November, it, or from what um, some of the information that we gathered, that, that, is that people were looking for a few different things. Uh, number one thing I think they were looking for is a list. They want to know what we were going to spend the money on specifically. Uh, the other thing that they uh, were really looking for is uh, a sunset. They didn't want to give us the sales tax forever. We heard a lot of different um, things being said as regards to let's gain trust back um, or City Hall gain trust back from uh, the community. And those are things that we could do in order to do that. Give them actual items that we're going to spend it on and give them a sunset. And so there was a, a, a GAPS committee or a Guthrie Area Projects Committee that was formed and there was about <coughs> two of us that met uh, in this room this last month and uh, to talk about what those projects should look, should look like or what, what do we want to spend the money on. And we had uh, people from all throughout the community, different types of people in on this uh, particular meeting to talk about what it was that we would be interested in spending the money on. And so. On your sheet, you should, I believe it's page two, you've got kind of that project list of the things that we need. And I don't think there's any argument from anyone that we obviously need the sales tax. We went for a one cent sales tax uh, in November. This, however, we're stepping back and only giving uh, a half cent. Uh, that other half cent that we were talking about before was towards uh, pay increases and things of that nature. And that was another negative comment that came around. So we just dropped that all together. So none of this money is going toward any type of salaries or anything like that. It's going uh, all in capital improvement projects that we can do within the city. So we talked about it as a group and then we prioritized our list as far as what things that we felt were pressing or would have priority over other things. And the very uh, top item uh, that we have that we feel like uh, the money should go toward is a ladder truck for the fire department. Knowing that we currently do not have an adequate fire, uh, adequate ladder truck, that's something that we feel like, um, because of safety reasons, we feel like that it's um, not only important for us to do that, but we thought that we could also get um, that uh, cooperation from the community as well, that they would feel that that would be something that's uh, important. Uh, the second item that we, and I'm not going to go through all of them, but I do want to go through a few of them. And the second item is um, trolley assistance. Um, I was so unaware prior to this meeting how much the trolley really does do um, as far as providing service uh, to our community, not just um, to the elderly, but taking people to work, taking people to doctor's appointments, things of that nature. And they've been, in the past, um, subsidized by, um, uh, is it ODOT, or is it, was it? Is it ODOT? It's ODOT. ODOT. Through yeah. federal funding. Through federal funding, yes. Uh, but that's coming away just because federal funding is being cut. They're losing uh, in the tune of $70,000 a year. Um, and so I think that um, also I don't think the community could argue um, that the trolley is an intricate piece and important to our community and that we need to probably sub help subsidize that in some manner. Knowing that other municipalities um, also help uh, subsidized transportation costs um, in, in their uh, municipalities as well. And the trolley is actually a nonprofit organization, and so it's not like we're funding a, a private entity that's, that's making, um, making money necessarily. So they are a nonprofit. Um, and the third thing was really the first fun thing uh, that we have on our list, and that's the upgrade and relocation of softball and baseball fields 
um, on some current city lands that we already have on the west side, but really um, doing a lot of upgrades uh, to what we currently have there in the softball fields and being able to um, have something more that people can go uh, play on um, and that's uh, better quality. Um, we have some, some amounts um, as far as estimated estimates um, to each of these items, and these are very vague ballpark figures. I mean, we tried to guesstimate closely, but nonetheless, they're not estimates for exactly how much we would spend. They're just projections of what we would spend. Um, and, and going back to the, the first item, which was the ladder truck, saying 100000 um, that's based on um, per year, um, giving a total over five years, being that the um, this particular sales tax increase would be for a five-year sunset. That would be $500,000 towards the um, purchase of a ladder truck. And then the trolley assistance we gave 70000 That's because that's just how much they're losing from ODOT. So we're just trying to give them back what they're losing. Um, we're not trying to get them anything more, just trying to keep them where they're at. Um, and because of that loss of revenue, they're having to you know, cut back services, and so we don't want to have them to have to cut back their hours of transportation. Um, and then for upgrade and relocation of softball fields, we have 250000 And I think you know, it's a, it's a very rough estimate. We can easily probably spend more than that, um, but that's, that's our first item uh, of fun items that, that we have on there. And then it continues to go through, and there's a lot of different uh, things on there uh, regarding to um, what we can do for the community. Um, we've got some items that were added after the meeting, and I think some of those items as well, I, don't, I, I think that we would uh, very easily win over the community as far as safety. The uh, first item on there is being tornado sirens. Um, needing to upgrade that system. Um, I mean, I th we all have known of um, tornadoes that have ripped through our community on the, wrong, the north side and on the west side, and, and I think that that's a very important piece that people aren't going to, uh, aren't going to argue with. Um, and then some of the other items, again, are just fun items. And I think it's important that, um, that we are bringing more quality of life things to our community as we're trying to attract people to our community. We all know that there's a school bond election that's going to be coming up in May, um, and there's been um, you know, some discussion of whether or not we should hold this um, election in June or should we wait. Um, I'm of the opinion, and again this is my opinion, but I don't think there's ever a good time to bring forward a sales tax issue. I think you're always going to find a reason why you should wait. Um, I, I think that the school has probably equally seen that, that there's always a reason why they should wait. You know, they haven't gotten a bond issue, but they keep pushing forward because why? They need the revenue. And I think if we don't keep pushing through, now we're sending a mixed message to the community that, well, we needed it last year. Well, we thought we needed it last year, but we don't need it because we're not going to move forward. So are we going to move forward or are we not going to move forward? So that's why I think it's important that we, we continue to try to move forward. Ours is going to be a month later, I don't think that we have to necessarily go out and, and uh, have a, a vote yes campaign uh, for a lengthy period of time. We could wait until after the, the school board um, has their election and then have our, our vote yes campaign. But nonetheless, I think it's important that as the school is trying to upgrade um, their systems um, to have a better um, school system for our community, I think it's equally important that the municipality move forward to try to have um, things for our community that will create a better way of life. Um, people continue to look for these types of things uh, when they're looking for uh, where they're going to move to. Not only school districts, um, there are people that, that move that don't have children. The school districts may not be a deciding factor, uh, but something as simple as a dog park, uh, something as uh, being able to provide transportation, um, simple beautification projects are all things that people look at when they're deciding whether or not they're going to move to a community or not. So I, I personally feel, um, and I think that um, I can speak on behalf of the committee itself, that the, the list of items that we've, we've put out there are, are things that are important not only to, to us as the committee, but to the, the community as a whole. And I think that, um, that we, want, uh, we want the City Council um, to take the information that we received from the last uh, failed sales tax and say, okay, we're going to do uh, a sunset. We're going to do um, a project list, and even and and these are the things that we're going to work for. 
and it gives us five years. It gives us an option to actually then go back and ask for it again so we can continue to work on more new things. Um, does anybody have any questions? Concern. Still that we're just a little too close. Timing is bad to that school bond vote. I sure don't want to muddy up the water and mess up their opportunities as much as I don't want to mess up the cities, but if we waited just one more month, because we're going to be three and a half weeks afterwards, and there's going to be talk about there and confusion. People still don't know where the money comes from to pay for anything. Personally, I think we ought to wait. I'm not sure. saying sure. forever, I but I don't want to muddy the waters up for the school. <laughs> but I don't want people talking about two things at the same time. My concern, my thought, as bad as we need it, bad as we want it, bad as they need it, <clears throat> we sure do need that school stuff. And it's more important than anything on here. As good as this is, I think the school is more important than anything here. So I think we have the opportunity to wait just a little bit. Show some support. Try and get ever get that done through them, and go from there. I guess my only and and I'm not. I understand your concern. I guess my only question would be is how long do we wait? I mean, I don't. I don't, I don't know the answer to that. Well, I've provided a calendar for you. Yeah. Um, July 14th is the next one. That's what. And I that's do. basically two months. And so then that gives us two months to to go do stuff. But it's. Otherwise, we're just three weeks right behind that, and if people start talking about the sales tax along with that, uh, that's just my concern. Now, if you really want to do something good, get Guthrie Public Works Authority, go out and get a $20 million bond issue, build the school, and do it that way, <coughs> and do all this stuff. But that takes another year to do that, probably, to get that kind of a bond. That's well, been and, done. Well, and there's obviously some things that we discuss in here as far as bond that... that Need to be done, but simply couldn't be done with sales tax. I mean, yeah. we're going to need a this, the municipal the city's going to need a bond as well at some point. Um, but yeah, for for roads, what, roads was one of the things that we talked about. Yeah. But you know, on a half cent sales tax, and if you're trying to do anything, it's um, not a lot. No, yeah. no, it's not. It's not going to not going to touch it. And because it's not a lot, I think if we waited 30 days, that's what I'm thinking too. That not that's not a lot. lot. I don't, I'd just as soon do it now, but 30 days is going to push it back. And give us an opportunity to see what happens with theirs. And if it is defeated, then we're maybe back to square one again. I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping they get this passed. Well, I think, I mean, if. if the and, I, and I think what you're going to find, James, is that probably the gist of the council <coughs> will be to hold it for the 30 days no. just to, to get, you know, it under the belt after the school bond election. And hopefully, it passes and people are on board for making a change. And I certainly. First, I want to say thank you for, you know, sitting down with this group and, and you know, help leading it up and, and getting the ideas because it's important to have a voice outside of this small group here. Uh, that's why we rely on there, like yourself and, and everybody else on the board, even Chris Evans. Thanks, but yeah. there's a lot of great stuff. On yeah, that. there is. Yeah, I think budget and stuff. You know, and yeah. I just and what, to be able to maximize the best opportunity to get it done. I think it, will, it might take us that extra 30 days, unfortunately, to do it. But unlike you, I'd like to have it right now. And, and I, I mean, I'll be, I mean, 30 days to me doesn't seem like a detriment. I mean, I, I just would hate to see that we wait another, wait another, wait a whole year from the last yeah, election. No, I'd like to, I'd, no, I'd absolutely. rather see us move I absolutely than that. agree with you. And I think if we set it forth on the next council meeting to make that decision to pull the trigger on the July date, can we do that? You could. You know, maybe that's how we. You can vote. Um, the deadlines are, this is the latest that you can do a resolution. For example, your next meeting is April 7th. Your following meeting is May 5th. Um, so if you April wanted 3rd. a July 14th um, election day, y'all would vote on May 5th. The well, council would have. We could April 7th. Or, vote on or, April 7th. or April 7th. Or 21st. Or 21st. Right. Yeah. Would I mean, do the last two or the new new council would take it up either way. I mean, I think if the druthers of this council is we do to it. do it, we do it on the 20th or seventh. the 7th. The 7th. Or 7th. Yeah. 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 yeah, I think if that way. And then we, for we, the July 14th vote day. That's mm -hmm. correct. So it gives us that right. 30 days, right? Right. 
We're ready else? to. Yeah. I agree with that. Right. We're ready to pro right. propose ballot language if, if that's what you'll want to see on that's the next yeah. on the next council meeting. That way, it yeah. ensures our group here that they have them worked in vain. Yeah, yeah. Right. And it also supports the school a little bit by not trying to. I, I'm so I think if we do the ballot language, get it before the next council meeting for a July 14th vote. vote. And the, we could do that. I want to remind you all the recommendation of the um, rate and fee committee is to go after, just to echo so we know, in, in case y'all want to change ballot language, let me know. Um, it's a half cent dedicated to capital, and it's a five-year sunset. Correct. When we list projects, um, that does not go on the ballot. Right. Um, if you were doing a bubble election, to go on the actual ballot. This, is, um, this list is more of an accountability for the council and staff to say, we need to do this. This is what we plan to do with the money. We're not going to take it and build a new animal shelter or, right, right. or whatever with it. Um, These are intents and, and, that's our and intent. possibilities and things change. But What I'd like to see is that GAP committee that came together um, and the Right and Fee committee really be that accountability committee for the, for the council. They can meet during budget season with staff and we can outline and really get down on scope. I mean, these are broad numbers. Right, right. Um, that yeah. scope can very well change. For example, the disc golf um, idea that they believe they're actually going to have that funded um, on their own through private dollars so hopefully so um, and so some of this can can change and I'd love to see a committee that holds accountability for um, for council and staff to keep meeting Perfect. things change yeah. as we know yeah and there's a lot of stuff on here that I'd like to know more about so sure when that time coming mm -hmm. a lot of good stuff and there were some things cut out, I want y'all know. I mean, there were there were other things brought up too. Um, uh, I was going to say, wish list as much splash pad. Yeah. Uh, you know, splash pad was kind of a topic, and it didn't make the cut. Um, and way expensive. And they're expensive, and they're hard to maintain, and, and maybe that's something for a, another day. Yeah. So we want to make it rich. Yeah. So if y'all are okay with that kind of ballot language, we can draft it and um, and shoot for next council meeting. Yeah, perfect. Sure. Yeah. Anything else for James? Any other questions? Thank you, sir. Appreciate the, you, uh, bringing all that stuff in here to us. Okay, number four, request for future items of discussion. Anybody got anything that we need to get on next council meeting or talk about or anything at all? Tell you what staff has planned for the next workshop is um, code enforcement update. Um, I know that's always a, a fun topic, and um, the uh, to workshop again the low water dam uh, potential solution. Really, it's just one solution to the issue of low lakes, and so um, that's open to discussion again on April seventh. In code enforcement, what are you talking about there? Kind of, the it's lawns their, and stuff during the yeah, summer? Yeah, it's our annual update, but we time it right here at ah. the beginning of growth season. <laughs> yeah. um, and some changes that we've made over the past two years in the increase of enforcement. Just refreshing. We are currently have, a, I just approved a list of uh, 27 homes actually for the um, uh, the demolish list, even though we typically can only afford X amount. Um, so we're actually sending out around 27 notifications. Uh, the reason for that is oftentimes individual property owners will take care of their property. So we'll discuss that at the next okay. workshop. Anything else? We are adjourned.